Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss the following question and the question says that Stanley and Tim wants to know the mean word length in a book. Stanley randomly selected 50 words from the book and Tim chose 50 words written on first page of the book. The number of letters in Stanley and Tim words were 310 and 355 respectively. What conclusion can you draw for the mean word length in the book from both the samples? Is there any variation in the estimate whose prediction is more reliable? Let's move on to the solution. In this question, we are given that Stanley and Tim chose 50 words sample from the book where Stanley randomly selected 50 words from the book and Tim chose 50 words written on first page of the book. Also, the number of letters in Stanley and Tim words were 310 and 355 respectively. So here the population is 30 words in the book Now we need to draw a conclusion for the mean word length in the book from both the samples and we know that mean in this context means average thus Mean word length means average word length. And this mean word length, that is average word length, would be equal to the total number of letters In your piece of writing divided by the total number of words here is a very simple example now in this sentence, my pet rabbit likes peas. Total number of letters are 20 and total number of words are 5. So mean word length which is given by total number of letters divided by total number of words will be equal to 20 upon 5 that is 4. So here first time mean word length will be given by total number of letters in his piece of writing that is 310 divided by total number of words which is 50 and this is equal to 6.2 similarly for 10 mean word length in a sample is given by total number of letters in his piece of writing which is equal to 355 divided by total number of words that is 50 which is equal to 7.1 so for Stanley's sample
mean word length in the book is 6 approximately and for Tim's sample mean word length is given by 7 approximately Here we have rounded off the numbers because the number of letters cannot be in fraction and here we have seen there is a variation in the length of words in both the samples. So we conclude there is a variation in the length of words In both the samples, here Stanley had chosen a random sample and Tim had chosen the sample according to his convenience. So we can say Stanley's prediction is more reliable and we can say that the mean word length in the book is 6 approximately This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.